the Zamfara state governor, Governor Belo Mohamed Matawali, has warned the people of the state to desist from hunting for bandits in the bush. He was speaking through his deputy and acting governor, Senator Hassan Mohamed Nasiha, while commiserating with the victims of banditry attacks in Mada and Magazu communities of the state. He did not say why he issued that warning. He assured the communities and the entire state that his administration would continue to fight the bandits until the required peace and tranquility is achieved in the entire Zamfara state. He said, I employ you all to shun the temptation of hunting for bandits in the bush, but instead stay firm and defend your communities, Matawali warned, assuring with the help of security operatives, we shall get the desired target of eliminating these miscreants in our midst. He made a donation of hundreds of assorted bags of grains to victims of the attacks and undisclosed amounts of money to cushion their grief of losing their breadwinners and their, and their dear ones. Special prayers for peace were also offered to various instances by imams in the areas visited as well. The acting governor or acting deputy governor was accompanied by the secretary to the state's government, the Honorable Commission for Justice, Security and Information. Okay, he's acting on, the behalf, on behalf of the governor. Hmm. So, he didn't say that. Maybe if I want to, in my own opinion or from my own perspective, if I want to look at it, maybe he's trying to say, okay, you don't have what it takes to go and hunt for these people. They, are, they have a sophisticated weapon. So, going after them, it will amount to um, suicide mission. It's a suicide. Maybe that is the reason why he's telling them. But the same man employed uh, how many people? I have forgotten how many, whether hundreds of uh, imams to go and pray in Saudi Arabia. He sponsored them. They used government money to do that, to go and pray so that a bandit would be a thing of the past just to, to cast bandits out of the state. It has not helped. This man has been in office since when he came on board. He has been spending money, 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 money. He has devised a lot of strategies and yet they, are, they seem not to be working. They seem not to be working. But monies have been wasted. Just billions of naira has been wasted. The one the governor of Castina State told us that they've spent billions of naira, over four point something billion naira, and yes, no results. That is the what they will tell you that they have spent. But, but believe you me, they must have spent more than that, and yet no results. This man, to so the same governor of Zamfara, has given happy hands to bandits. Also, he gave some happy hands to other community in another country because like they share boundary between there's a boundary between them and Niger and they contributed to some of the the, the countries to so be able to uh, quench this uh, banditry uh, thing disturbing the old people now the same police or the security men that uh, you said they have been helping that they will help in supporting and close to five years now this must have been in office yet nothing has been done nothing has been done even the so-called security men are even victims of all these bandits they are casual there are casualties among them for those that thought that banditry is not government sponsored here is your answer well that is just the way if you want to look at it literally but i don't understand why he said they should not go after them but me i'm just trying to help him how to because of uh, this or that this APC is an arm of bandits and Boko Haram. When Boko Haram started in 2019, APC was formed in 2015. Stop, stop what you are saying. For now, for how long will the storm or the story continue? For how long? Bandits is APC sponsored. Okay, then Boko Haram is sponsored by who? Then I suspect that the governor is ignorant of the saying that goes to us the best form of defense is attack they are all sponsors and the terrorists huh now wow. that don't go after them don't go after them just just stay in your own that uh, don't worry that is how they have been assuring them they'll be encouraging them that don't worry everything will be fine everything will be fine everything will be fine don't just say anything just make sure that uh, you are doing the right they are just on just be complaining anything if anything happens they will just go to them oh we sympathize with you. We send our condolences and it ends there. 
another one will see happen they will go back home we send our condolences and what have you that is how people are losing their lives honestly everybody cannot run and some people are just like whatever that will happen let it happen and some people will say mm, if that is how they want to go so be it and some people are still hoping that the government is going to do anything or do something some people have taken off some people cannot just continue to risk their lives whereas uh, the government are supposed to protect them always talking stories left right and center story 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 every day story hey, we, 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 we are doing our best we will make sure that uh, these people they will never arrest them we make sure that these people are brought to book we make sure that uh, this is what will happen to them but by fuele nothing nothing will happen another incident we see happen again over and over again for close to how many years it has been like everyday occurrence and you begin to ask yourself how many people can't even remain for the north people have been asking that question how many people can't even remain for that so-called north how many people can't remain tell worry now about this whole thing now the same story he said last week is what he's going to repeat and the people will say clap for him they love him i think uh, they love uh, what is happening because Let's say paraventure that uh, Buhari decides to run again for presidency, or he just comes to their state to visit. You see how, how all of them will true pass. At least make a statement when he comes, just like uh, those who are sitting at home. You will not want to go and work all day, but of course, if if people, if majority of the people said they don't want to go and work on him just to make a point, even if he actually comes to visit them, they will see the same governors, they will see arrange money to some people. Some people just say, I beg, don't be just to go there. Uh-huh. Am I going to lose anything? And that is it. And before you know it, the government would not be using that as a yastig, as a propaganda to say, hey, can't you see? They still love worry. They still do this. They still do that. At the end of the day, they are not bothered. They are not bothered. When you you cried for how many years that you want to be president, now you have been given the power. The man is just ignoring everybody. Just ignoring everybody. Hmm. What, shall, what, what shall someone say? It's just unfortunate. It's so, 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 so unfortunate. You can imagine. You can imagine. Don't go after them. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. The same story. The same encouragement they've been giving to them. Watery and unacceptable encouragement that are, are, have not yielded positive results. Instead, people people's lives are going in for it day in, day out. Day in day out, you know what this kind of a thing you will not hear Loretta Nochi do it book quickly mention it. You will not hear anything, but when it comes to iPod, oh, fiaka, they are there. Who are they deceiving? Who are they fooling? Fooling themselves. So, guys, let's hear your opinion on this.